Hey guys, so I just wanted to recreate this look for you guys because I know that some people on YouTube have been looking for like everyday looks or I've been looking for everyday looks that literally take like 5 to 10 minutes. Nothing that's going to take me like 20 minutes to recreate. And this is the finished look and this is the canvas that we're going to be doing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Uh, I think I have nothing else to say. Oh, um, please subscribe. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please comment and like the video below. Um, once I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to give two of them a great giveaway. Like, a great giveaway. Um, and then after I hit 1,000, I'll do another one, more and more, more. But as, as my YouTube channel grows, we'll talk more and more about it. Um, yeah, so this look right here, it only takes about 5 to 10 minutes. And it's just like an easy, glamorous look to go to work in. But and also like a nice, bright lip. So, hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully you guys enjoy. That was weird. Yeah. Alright, thanks guys. Bye. Hey guys, I'm going to be starting with my transition shade, if you could say, in the color Ice by Morphe Cosmetics. They are those nice little eyeshadows. It's kind of like this purpley, kind of silvery color, and I kind of just like to put that all over my lid because it's going to look very good when I start mixing the golds together and the browns together. It's going to look really good. So I'm going to take the Morphe B38 brush, and I'm going to go into that crease and buff it on out. Circular motions from the inner corner until the outer corner until I really like how blended it is and it's gonna look very gorgeous so keep blending blend 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 darling yes i'm gonna take the milani eyeshadows in the color bella gold and i'm gonna take a flat shader brush from elf and i'm gonna dip that brush inside of that eyeshadow I'm going to put it all over my lid, and I'm not going to go into above the crease too much. I'm just going to go flat onto that lid right there, flat top it, just as you see right there. The reason why I don't want to put it on top of my crease is because I don't want it to mix in with my darker colors and kind of just throw off the whole look. So just put a flat top onto the lid and pat that on down well you have to be careful with the milani eyeshadows because there is quite a bit of fallout um so just be a little careful make sure to knock some of that off before you start applying it to your lid as i wink wink to you guys <laughs> and then i'm going to take an elf blending brush and i'm going to blend that gold in with the ice color from morphe as well as i'm going to take the milani eyeshadow in the color bella bronze and i'm going to take an equal tools eyeshadow brush it is the regular C eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to put that into my crease, as you see there. I'm not going to go above the crease. I'm kind of just going to sharpen it inside of my crease right there and add as much color as you want. And like I said, you knock that color off of there. Go deep into the outer corner, not really hitting that inner corner because it is going to be a little of a kind of a smoky eye. So you don't want to really make sure that your inner corner is darkening. So I kind of pull on my eye just a little bit to make sure that I get really into that crease and then I don't go above it. And I'm just going to pack that color on there as so. And then I'm going to take an e.l.f. blending brush, of course, and you just blend, blend, blend away. There's no excess color on there. All you're going to do is just blend that color so there's no harsh lines. It just doesn't look so rough. And just blend as well as you want. As I'm checking myself in the mirror, up, oh, I think it's good. And if you want to add more color, just go right ahead. Keep packing that color on until you like it. Like my eye looked a little darker, so I added more of that Bella Bronze into the crease. I'm just going to darken that up a little bit more just to make sure that it's everything that I want. And then I'm just going to blend it out some more just to make sure that there's no harsh lines, of course, and to make sure that everything is perfect. You can just use an elf blending brush like I did. It's only about a dollar. Check your eyes, girl. Make it work. And then I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk to highlight my brow bone and I buff it out with my finger. And it's just the easiest way is just to buff it out with your finger and kind of just rub that color on in there. And then I'm going to put it on the inner corners of my lid and just to kind of brighten up my inner corners, I'm going to blend that out with my finger as well. And yes, that finger doesn't have any nail polish on it because I have a chip nail and I don't want to put nail polish on it. Anyways, so you're just going to go ahead and blend that out with your finger. Go ahead and take some more of that 
gold bella gold color and my bella bronze color and you're just gonna keep blending away getting in that color because you don't want it too smoky that you look like you're going to the club but you do want it enough smokiness so it looks like you made some effort and you look good girl and then i'm going to take i'm really not gonna take this i'm gonna pretty much drop it ready and yep nope i'm gonna take the nyc pencil eyeliner pencil i'm gonna i i'm gonna line my water lines i'm gonna line them up very dark because i like it that way and then i'm gonna take that bella bronze color and my equal tools flat shader brush and i'm going to rub it on across and kind of smoke out that black because i don't want that black to look too harsh but i also don't want that eyeshadow to be so much fall that it looks like i have a black eye so i keep it very close to that water line and i just make sure that everything is blended right i'm gonna blend it all the way up into my eyeshadow just to make sure that everything comes together as one taking my b38 morphe brush i'm going to extra blend it out more in circular motions just so that there's no crazy harsh lines on my outer corners as you can see because i kind of like the more round instead of more a little weird and then you can also easily just wipe it off if you see any fallout like i do right now and then the good thing is you can always put concealer over it or use makeup remover just to remove it i'm gonna take that beautiful nyc lengthening mascara and i'm gonna coat my lashes about two times first time i flip it on at the way it's supposed to and then the second time you're gonna see me dip it back in my uh, my container and then i'm gonna flip it to the rounder part just to make my eyes volumized so this one is a regular one and it's just lengthening it then i'm gonna dip it back in and then i'm going to put it that way and then it's gonna really give me some volume and i love this mascara it it really does the wonders for me you know how to spend the extra bucks just to get mascara this nyc is a probably about two bucks and it's the sky rise nyc uh lengthening mascara oh. and try not to poke yourself like i did my eye is so watery And then I'm going to take the CoverGirl and a concealer elf brush. And I'm going to take that white color and I'm going to put it in the tear ducts of my eyes. This eyeshadow palette actually does not have a name. Or, yes it did, I'm lying. It was called Coffee, I believe. Um, yeah, I think it was called Coffee. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to put it in the inner corners of my eyes after I cut my mascara. And damn girl, you're looking good. Then it's time to do the lips. I love this color. It is by L'Oreal Paris. Paris and the color is called always red it is a beautiful red color and it's not too dark and it's not too bright it is the perfect red for any skin tone it really is and because I don't have a lipstick to match it I'm just gonna use my lipstick as I mean, my lip liner as my lipstick so I'm gonna line my lips like I normally do and I do overdraw them just a smidge just a smidge okay that's all just a little bit and I just love this lip liner. It is so gorge. It is, I'm in love. I love it so much. And as you know, in the beginning of the video, I actually had moisturized my lips before I've done all my makeup. I used the regular old chapstick in the flavor cake batter, just so you guys know. Just regular chapstick. And then at the end, I put my lip liner on because I want my lips to be soft and moist before I put my lip liner on. Because I don't like it to be crusty or hard or anything like that. And it also makes it e way easier to apply your lip liner if you already have a nice moisture already applied to your lips. And just go ahead and rub your lips together. I think I'm going to leave it this way. I was thinking about leaving it glossy or matte, but I like it matte, so I'm just going to leave it that way. It looks gorge that way, anyways. And you're all set. Please subscribe and comment if you like to, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Wow. <laughs> And also, this is just an eye look, this eye look right here. Uh, I'm not going to do my foundation or concealer or anything like that because I just wanted to show you like the quick, easy going eyeshadow look. If you guys want, I did my brows and everything, but I do use Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish. It's in the color medium, honey beige. Looks like this right here. You can get this from Walmart. I use this. I use a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to do it. I also use the Maybelline Fit Me in the color. Oh my gosh, I don't have my glasses on. Hold on. The color medium. 
yeah, it's time to buy a new one. But anyways, I use this one, and I also use Rimmel London Match Perfection, what? Two-in-one, it's a concealer and a highlighter in the color light. Like, this is super light for me, and this is actually concealed, so, like, this is really close to my skin tone. It gives me a nice little highlight, but this one is like, wah bam, bitch. Like, boom, here's the fucking highlight. Keep it pushing. Like, it slays. It slays. This one's really good to highlight, but it's also thicker than this one. Like, I like it. I like this one better because it's lightweight, and I'm not sitting there feeling like, god damn, this is a lot of stuff on my face. But this one is like, if I'm going out to the club or something, I'm like, what i gotta look good i'm gonna use this one because this is gonna brighten my face and it's gonna conceal it's gonna do everything two in one two in one that's what it said and that's what i use okay okay i use an elf blush brush and i also use the elf high definition under eye setting powder i use these two together to stop the creasing i put it down here here i will do an updated make uh updated foundation routine um uh, but yeah like i said i just want to show you the eyeshadow thing i use this one because kathleen light said that she loved it and then i used it and i was like duh i love it because kathleen light loves it duh. But anyways also when i mix with my foundation i sometimes mix this together especially because it's summertime it is a sheer glow all the way hard candy it was new when i bought it i i doubt it's new now um but it's a liquid it's a liquid form like this i just mix this in with this mix them together put it on my face i didn't do it today but um put it on my face and it gives this nice gorgeous golden glow like no matter the skin tone i'm a medium shade but if you're fair this is going to look it's going to give you a nice subtle beautiful golden glow it is uh, gorgeous okay if you're my color it's going to give a nice like and then if you're deep tone it's still gonna even look amazing on deep tone skins medium skins and fair it's gonna look gorgeous on any skin type I recommend this let me know what you guys think if you've tried this before and if you love it because I like it and it's the bombs.com okay okay work <laughs> anyways um so I just wanted to make sure you guys didn't think like, okay, well, she did her eyes, but what about everything else? Like, yeah. So I'm going to do uh, another one. Probably I'm going to upload it in two days from now because I'm going to film it tomorrow. I'm going to edit tomorrow and then I'll upload it tomorrow. Wow, I'm not going to upload it tomorrow. I'm going to upload it two days from now, but I'm going to film it tomorrow. <sighs> okay, thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye. So uh, I hope you like my lead girl. My lead girl. Mm, my lead girl. My <sighs> they are not proportioned okay and then i went with the loria paris paris the loria paris the blender right here we like it hmm. what is wrong with me and i get it together okay stop i just cannot don't understand me are these the same colors what oh gloss or no gloss like what oh my god Mm-hmm.